you want me to change? Please put something on top of your shirt so that I I get I can okay, okay, properly. Okay, just just get just just give me give me give me two minutes. Let's start in two minutes, okay? Not two uh, minutes. Not two minutes. Aryan, can you allow me uh, the screen Let's sharing? Get, yeah, please. Yeah, screen sharing allowed. Tab tak let him test his uh, PPT. Uh, but why are you making him change his shirt? Uh, 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 ji, I have a major issue with my eyes, and okay. whenever I see black, it it sort of uh, it creates a problem because uh, uh, I have a lot of black spots. Right, on I, I, get that. I was joking because Kali <laughs> T-shirt or Kalindi. इसीलिए तो आपको बुलाया है कि आप हम लोगों के साथ जुड़िए आप आरसी की मदद करिए ताकि हम लोग इसको सही कर सके आपकी आशीर्वाद चाहिए हमें आई थिंक यू एंड आर सी कैन एक्सचेंज अ फ्यू वर्ड इन दीन टाइम आई एम ट्रेवलिंग आर्यन RC this is major uh, chandrakant ji he is from the related to the royal family of rajasthan and basically he is also from our area of manpuri and i am a bridgewasi ha he is now now you all talk to each other and rc is from bathura of course and he is a businessman but he is sort of committed to this cause of yamuna uh, uh, rivers uh, proper uh, you know reg rejuvenation now you all continue आर्यन प्लीज आज जल्दी करके नमस्कार चंद्रकांत जी मैं रंजीत चतुर्वेदी पाठक ब्रजवासी आपकी तरह मैं भी ब्रजवासी मेरी पैदाइश आगरा की है क्या बात है कुछ भी आगरा के ही है हमारी जमींदारी थी कोटला आजकल फिरोजाबाद जिले में चली गई है जी पर लास्ट फोर्टी फिफ्टी जनरेशन आई नो है mera i think i am the only one in my family in my internal in my entire kul who has been born in vrindavan otherwise everybody is born in mathura okay yeah they had to rush me to a hospital my mother to a hospital okay and uh, because there were some complications with the pregnancy so she so there's this place vrindavan mein birla mandir ke baad mein jab aage jate hain टल्ला चुंगी की तरफ जब वृंदावन में जस्ट एंटर कर रहे होते हैं परिक्रमा मार्ग पर तो वहीं पर एक हॉस्पिटल है तो वहां मुझे ले गए थे मतलब मेरी माँ को ले गए थे <laughs> आप भी थे उसमें आप भी वहीं हाँ आई वॉज पाइलिंग ऑन अच्छा मंजुला जी भी साथ में है मंजुला जी इज विद मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर एज वी ऑल नो और शी हिंदी की एक क्या कहते हैं उसको uh, क्या बोल सकते हैं एक जैसे कि वॉरियर्स बोलते थे तो उसका हिंदी का शब्द क्या होगा कि योद्धा योद्धा योद महान योद्धा महायोद्धा है हिंदी की विच 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 डिवीजन ऑफ एमएचए यू आर हिंदी डिपार्टमेंट हिंदी प्रमोशन शी कैंट हियर यस आई थिंक शी कैन हियर उनका माइक मजुला दीदी कैन यू से समथिंग आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही Chandrakant ji I plan to come to Jaipur soon I spoke to Justice Mishra yeah wo mera Mahabharat ka granth aapne nikal ke dilwana hai mujhe thank you Rajan I thank you Aryan I mean her okay so I have spoken to but wo trustee se baat karni hogi he said trustee se baat karni hai ha Aryan can you give me screen share please okay okay now I request everybody that Kindly so allow me to speak can, in English. Yeah, yeah. That whatever. Let's just do a formal little so that our recording becomes proper. Uh, yeah. We have to do a formal uh, introduction and yeah, 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 yeah. yeah so welcome. that you know, our this will be fine. Okay. 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 then we'll open the session up for questions and then we can we all can come on video okay so i appreciate your patience ye 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 beta ye ranjit meri awaaz aa rahi hai ab tak ab aa gayi ab aa gayi majula ji theek hai theek hai dhanyawad lekin ab mera video kaam nahi kar raha hai okay 
वो इन्होंने कैन वी गेट अ फॉर्मल स्टार्ट नाउ आर्यन जी ने वो वीडियो बंद करके रखा हुआ है सबका ऑडियो और वीडियो जिससे कि सेशन जब कंप्लीट हो जाएगा तब वो उसको आई आई थिंक आर्यन विल एक्सप्लेन एवरीथिंग ठीक so ideally we, the session will have a flow niraj will come up with an introduction i will uh, do a little small introduction for rc and the topic and then rc is going to speak on uh, this very very important topic today which is my yamuna and the importance of uh, saving my yamuna there is the most most important uh, topic of today's contemporary point and then we are going to have a question and answer session where we are going to open it for people right so niraj ji all said should i i see chandra chandra kant is there manjula ji is danish okay never mind she will come back shall we start 1 2 3 q okay 1 1 2 3 namaskar uh, sabhi ko uh, aaj uh, hum log uh, we are very privileged to niraj 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 okay let's start again okay recording dekh diye uh, yes we are recording Uh, नमस्कार uh, uh, सभी को गुड मॉर्निंग मेरी तरफ से बहुत बहुत हार्दिक वेलकम टू दिस वेरी स्पेशल प्रोग्राम ऑन आवर रिलेटेड टू आवर संस्कृति एंड सभ्यता टुडे वी हैव अ प्रिविलेज ऑफ हैविंग विद अस अ पर्सन हु हैज नॉट ओनली थॉट अबाउट डूइंग समथिंग फॉर यमुना बट रियली वर्क द टॉक टू टेक अ पर्सनल व्यू ऑफ वॉट इज दिस इशूज so this person is none other than uh, shri ranjit chaturvedi pathak from mathura who is a businessman but he has started a project called project atmanirbhar uh, in order to not only make yamuna atmanirbhar but uh, sort of contribute in the atmanirbhar of our sanskriti and sabhyata uh, shri ranjit shri chaturvedi ji as a businessman and a promoter of project atmanirbhar and today the topic for the discussion is my yamuna the lifeline of bharatiya sabhyata or sanskriti so welcome uh, uh, and uh, let's get started aryan please uh, say a few words and uh, i would like to before that introduce uh, that we are, have joined today with a very important person who is very deeply not only linked to braj but also to writing about my yamuna he has uh, I, I, we have with us major chandrakant ji who belongs to the uh, royal family of the you know the rajput clan and related to the jaipur family also and he has been writing very very aggressively on various issues of social importance specifically the yamuna he has written many articles which he has shared with me which are very inspirational and i thought he would be the right person to interact today with us especially with uh, uh, ranjit chaturvedi ji so that we can bring in a proper uh, you know uh, dialogue on on rama yamuna uh, so with that aryan please uh, uh, do take over and take this forward well first of all welcome everyone a very warm welcome and chandrakant ji namaskar aapka bahut bahut swagat hai धन्यवाद वेल टू टॉक टू टॉक अबाउट रंजीत जी जी का भी बहुत बहुत स्वागत है सॉरी आई डोंट सी हर सो आई फॉरगॉट हियर जो आई मीन एंड वी वी डू हैव अ फ्यू नंबर ऑफ ऑडियंस सो आई एम नॉट टेकिंग द नेम स्पेशली राइट नाउ एट दिस मोमेंट सो इंद्रप्रस्थ टॉक्स की तरफ से सबको बहुत बहुत स्वागत है एंड व्हेन वी टॉक अबाउट रंजीत चतुर्वेदी ही इज ही इज अ फ्रेंड ही इज अ पैल एंड ही इज अ माइंड which is constantly you know spontaneously working towards something or other as much i know him he is enthusiastic about something which is the lifeline of today's delhi present india and our indraprasth without yamuna we can't even imagine how india is going to be without yamuna we can't even imagine how delhi or even indraprasth is going to be i feel whenever i look at ranjit chaturvedi i feel amazed and not only amazed i feel very happy that it's it, it it is a youth of india who is taking this cause forward and there is nothing more 
what we can expect from our youth to do something for the, the capital of this nation. And he's the person who is spearheading this particular cause. I would rather say, Ranjit, thank you so much for taking up this cause because without this cause, we won't exist. Delhi won't exist. Indrapras won't exist. Thank you. And I hand it over to you. We want to listen to listen from you, uh, from you everything about what you're doing and the steps we have been taking towards this cause. Aryan, could you just explain the process or so, uh, Chandrakanji is aware, Manjula ji is aware what's going to happen after the talk? We, we are generally going to have a question and answer session, but before that, we'd like to listen, uh, listen to Ranjit first. So that, uh, you know, we can, we can completely get the idea of his initiatives, the steps, what he has taken, the, the journey, what he has gone through, because he has been working on this front for a long time. Right. So let's, let's listen to Ranjit first. And then we are going to have uh, a question. I, I have a few questions for Ranjit. The panel will have some questions for Ranjit. And then I'll open it up for all the people, uh, all the audience out here, eminent a, audiences a special out here. Session right? with Chandra, a special session with Chandra Kanji so that yeah. he has done a lot of work. Yes. In this specific <clears throat> so once Ranjit, has once Ranjit has spoken, I'll, I'll push up some questions and then Chandrakanji can also push up his questions and uh, also point, place the uh, place his point of view on the same subject. Great. Right? Please, RC. Jai Shri Yamunai. Aap sabhi ko. Jai Shri Yamunai. Uh, this is probably the only time that I'm going to be speaking in Hindi. Uh, so, Aryan, Neera ji, thank you so much for, for organizing this and uh, for that lovely introduction. Um, with your permission, the flow will be as such that I will be giving a short presentation, which has been, which has been prepared by Samarth from Project Atmanirbhar on my Yamuna. And then on the second part, I would like to be doing some reading from uh, some, a little research that I've done uh, to startle each and every one who is listening and who will in future listen to the second part, the post-presentation part that I'll be reading. And then thirdly, I'll be talking about five minutes on uh, the Yamuna Yatra, which we had done earlier this year. And then we will, uh, then it will be open for discussion. So to begin with, I request uh, my friend Aryan, if he can allow me to share the screen uh, so that I may start with the presentation. Just a minute. Okay, I'm trying to do that. I'll say just give me two minutes, I think. Yeah. So it goes with, uh, I'm using an Apple, so it, I just have to press start share, right? Yes, yes. Under the... In the meanwhile, I'm so happy that there are people who joined in even from Mathura. Okay. Anurag Chaturvedi, Samarth, I'll try. Welcome to everybody. Mathura Vasio ka bahut bahut swagat hai. Okay. Asit, can you share the screen now? Yes. Um, now I open my presentation. So, can you all see this screen, the presentation? Mira video, mujhe dikhai nahi de raha hai. Okay. Um, can everybody see the screen? We can see it. I think Manjula ji, you may be having a problem at your end. message your video is stopped. You video No, no. आप हमारा आपका शायद stop हुआ होगा, लेकिन आप screen देख सकते हो हमारी. नहीं मुझे screen नहीं दिखा. आप मुझे Manjula ji, मैंने actually आपका video stop नहीं किया था. मैंने सिर्फ request किया था कि आप video अभी off कर लें. आप एक बार relog in कर लीजिए. मुझे लगता है there is some technical error. Quickly relog in. ठीक ठीक and Aryan, could you put everybody on mute, please? Yeah. Thank you so much. Because beach me look both there fit. Yeah, Ashi, please go ahead. Thank you. Ma Yamuna. As you see the title, it says, Murder of a Mother by Humanity. Now, why is it a murder? 
we will go through these slides and then realize what we as humans have done to this divine goddess, this divine mother of ours. And we all know about Yamuna, that it starts from the Yamnotri glacier in Uttarakhand and it reaches what we call Prayagraj, the holy Sangam in Uttar Pradesh. What we do not know, however, is what is Yamuna's family? What is Yamuna all about? My Yamuna is also known the daughter of the sun god Surya. Her brothers are Manu, the first man, the twin Ashwins, the divine doctors, the planet Saturn, Shani, and Yama, who we know as the god of death. She is also called Suryatanya, Suryaja, and Ravi Nandini. And because of her association to her twin brother, Yama, who is the lord of death, and also known as Kala, Mahakala, we get a name Kalindi. And also because she comes to earth through the Kalandigiri mountains, she's also known as Kalindi. We can see that the origin, the 1,380 kilometers of the Yamuna route starts from the Yamnotri glaciers high up in the Himalayas very close to Kangotri and also the source of the Saraswati, the ancient Saraswati. And as we see that there are main 22 important river tributaries to Yamuna, as we see on the right table. And all of these rivers coming together with Yamuna make Yamuna the largest tributary in the country. She becomes a tributary to the Ganga. The important part from this slide, which I would like to talk about, is the challenges which the Yamuna belt is facing. So if you will see on the table on the right side, that the Yamuna is divided into four segments, the Himalayan, the upper, the middle, and the lower. And each one of these sections has a different sort of a problem and a threat to the river. So the upper Himalayan region, which is uh, uh, roughly 200 kilometers starting from Yamnotri up to Hatnikund, you have various hydropower projects, dams, barrages, mining, dumping of solid waste. And then when you come further down, that is from Hatnikund up to the Wazirabad uh, barrage in Delhi, there is illegal sand mining, there is absolutely no water. There's a lot of industrial pollution. And then the part which we see as the middle part, this is the part between Delhi and where the Yamuna meets Chambal is the part where the Yamuna is actually dead. These are some of the barrages that you will see that the first one is in Dark Patar near Dehradun, and then the Hatani Kund, uh, and then you have the ITO, the Wazirabad, the Okla, and there's a barrage in Mathura also known as the Gokul Barrage. Now, Yamuna water has several uses, and uh, we, like every other river, from drinking to hydropower to irrigation to industries to, to portable water, there are a lot of things that the water is used for. But the pollution that is causing the river to die starts really in Delhi because 58% of the waste generated in Delhi goes into the river untreated. The Panipat stretch to the Agra stretch, as you see, is the stretch where the river has been declared dead because there is undetectable levels of oxygen. And according to the latest reports, this belt between the, the 22 kilometer Delhi stretch, which is the capital of the country, which 
pollutes the Yamuna 70%. This is the latest river Yamuna analysis report. If you can see the date, the date of sampling is 1-7-2021 and the date of reporting is 11-8. So this is the latest report. If you will see the fecal coliform levels, the desirable level is 500 and the maximum level is 2,500. And the moment we enter Wazirabad, if you see serial number two, and if you go down, the river Yamuna, after Tughlaqabad drains, you can see it is 47 into 1,000, 47,000. So against 2,500, it is 47,000. And in some cases, it is 140,000 if you see at Shadra. So this is the level of pollution and the waste that is flowing in the Yamuna. So only 2% of the Yamuna's length is through Delhi our capital city. And there are these number of drains, the main one being the Najafgarh drain, which is in, in itself is a 57 kilometer drain. And this 2% accounts for 70% of the total pollution in Yamuna. This 2% of the national capital of India. And as you can see on the highlighted part in yellow, that the biochemical oxygen demand should not be more than 5 mg per liter. And what we see that it is at 500 against 1.1 billion coliform bacteria per 100 milliliters. So the main contributors of pollution to Yavana is untreated sewage, industrial waste, and municipal and construction waste, which goes into the drains and ultimately flows into the rivers. Now, can you imagine that the, the area on the river embankments and the floodplains, which goes into cultivation and agriculture, the kind of produce that we are producing from that area, which goes into the markets and then ultimately on our plates, is a major reason for deformities and health emergencies that we are facing today. And if you see just on the plastic side of it, the plastic pollution, that despite the 2017 ban on single-use plastic, Delhi produces 251,000 tons of plastic each year, out of which 50% of which is single use. And that's roughly 63,000 elephants worth of plastic. And this all goes into the Yamuna. There have been major decisions by the Supreme Court and the NGT. You can see that the Jelly Bowl, uh, the Delhi Jal Board in 2016, formulated an interceptor sewer uh, scheme. Then the NGT in 2012 uh, took a decision and according to which a very important decision was taken of applying a polluter pays principle, unfortunately, which has not taken off yet. On 25th July in 2018, there was a board of multiple stakeholders who deal with the river Yamuna and the pollution related to it was constituted. And even a two member monitoring committee was comprised on 26th July, 2019 to look after the various aspects of pollution and damage, which is being done to the Yamuna belt. Well, there is no end to the level of responsibilities that the, that, that the pollution control boards have. But how much of this is actually happening on ground is a question that we must ask. Delhi Jal Board 
has a very important role to play especially when we see that there is absolutely no sewerage facility in almost 1800 unauthorized colonies around the river bank well when we speak about the responsibilities of industries departments and the state industrial development departments not only in delhi but throughout the different states where through which yamuna flows the target set of achieving a zero liquid discharge should be made mandatory and should be followed up in a way that no industrial pollution should enter the Yamuna. The upper Yamuna River Board, which was constituted by the NGT and the Supreme Court, should make sure that the river Yamuna after Hatani Kund Baraj at least carries some water downstream. Because as we can see, there is no water in River Yamuna after the Hatani Kund Baraj for most parts of the year. One very important responsibility remaining with the Delhi Development Authority is that it should reclaim DDA land on the various floodplains, which is being encroached. And similarly, all irrigation departments of all the states through which Yamuna flows should make sure that there is no encroachment. We've heard of some serious um, encroachments happening in Mathura recently on the Ghats. And now the government has taken action on that. But this is just one of the cases. The municipal corporations have their own set of responsibilities. They have to ensure that all the rules and regulations are enforced properly and as desired. The most important part, as we know, is that nothing can happen without public awareness. So as you see, there is an urgent need to revive an interest in the River Yamuna and build public awareness about its importance, as well as its cultural history. I think that is the reason why we are holding this, this session today. There should be some methods to take this awareness to our children through educational institutions and to help them understand what is the importance of River Yamuna. As we see the political part of the story, these are all recent 2021 statements which were made by the, the parties, the political parties in the current dispensation, making tall claims and each state blaming on the other state. And despite the highest judicial authority in this country taking note, we still don't see enough action on the ground. Earlier this year in January, the Supreme Court had taken even a sewer motor decision related to the pollution in the river. And as we can see that if the oxygen levels in any living thing are found to be undetectable, it clearly means that it is not a living thing anymore. So on the 22 points in Delhi, where the water was tested, it was found that there was absolutely no oxygen in Yamuna, which means that it is not alive. Hence, the cover of this presentation was murder of a river by humanity. And why I say it is because of humanity is because we, when we humans went inside, 
during the lockdown, you can see the beautiful face of my Yamuna. And then you can see how and what has happened to that same river after we all have ventured out. So we took a Kalash Padayatra. We started from Yamnotri Dham. You can see the Yamnotri temple on the left to Purnatirth Vishram Ghat in Mathura, which you can see on the right. So the significance of these two points is that on the left is the birth of Yamuna. She comes here as a child. And to the right, where you see the Vishram Ghat in Mathura, that's where she becomes my Yamuna. That's where she becomes a mother. And it is very sad that people of Mathura are forced to see a dead mother every day. I thank Samar Chaturvedi for preparing this short presentation and uh, who's part of the team Atmanirbhar. And um, so now I would like to come back to to stop the sharing and come back. So you see, um, I didn't want to read the whole thing, but just to give you a glimpse of what are we dealing with over here. But now I would want to take you to something startling. Uh, some of it has to be read by me because there's so much information that has been collated. But I hope to convince each and every listener over here that after you hear this out, you will be convinced that we, I mean, not me because I'm sitting in Mumbai right now, but all of you sitting close to the river Yamuna right now are sitting at the cradle of the modern civilization, starting from the United States and ending eastwards to India. So we go into history. Yamuna flowed through the Kuru territories as described primarily in the Mahabharata and also in the Vedas. Apart from the rivers, the cities, towns, villages, holy spots known as the Tirth Sthans, forests and lakes mentioned in the Mahabharata falling in this territory, they were also known as Kuru Rashtra with two divisions. One, the Eastern Kuru and two, the Western Kuru known as Kuru Jangala. And this was separated by the Yamuna River. The Indo-European migrations from the densely populated Saraswati Yamuna region can be proven. Based on the studies of Avistan and the Greek text, the Daityas and the Danavas who coexisted with the Adityas in the Saraswati Yamuna region are identified respectively with the Avistans, described in the Avistan text like the Vendidad, and the Greek Danas, described in the Iliad and the Odessi. The Adityas, Elia, Puru, Bharata, Kuru lineage, since the Saraswati Yamuna region, is described as the territory of the Adityas, like Indra and Varuna. Manu was also known as Yama and Yima, Y-I-M-A. The matriarch, Come goddess Ilya, known as Aditi for us, the originator of the Ailya lineage, the kings in the line of Puru, Bharata, and Kuru. The region was inhabited by a mixed ancestry consisting of the Nagas, the Purus, and the Yadus, with Adityas, Ailyas, and Nagas being ancestral to both Yadus and Purus. So, what is the significance of Yamuna in the Kuru territory? The Ganga, Yamuna, Dris, Advati, and Saraswati are the four major rivers in the Kuru territory. The Mahabharata also mentions about these rivers. And two other rivers called Oghavati and Hiranyavati, which are considered as the tributaries of Saraswati flowing through Kurukshetra. Among all these rivers, River Yamuna is central river to the Kuru Rashtra. Now, when I say 
Yamuna is the central river of the Kuru Rashtra. We understand that the Kuru territories were divided into two halves. So the Eastern Kuru had a capital called Hastinapur and the Western Kuru had a capital called Indraprastha. So places like Tilaprastha, Indraprastha, Swarnaprastha, also known as Sonipat, Bhagaprastha, Bhagpat, and Panaprastha, Panipat, were all situated on either banks of the Yamuna. Tilaprastha was etymologically the place of cultivation of Til. So Til Kildaddu, Tilka Tail is extracted. Indraprastha was the major city on the banks of Yamuna and the capital of the Pandavas. The city was probably named after the former ruler of the place, the Vedic Indra himself. Swarnaprastha was the marketplace of dwellers and gold workers. Bhagaprastha was the local of the main deity, Bhaga, one of the Adityas, and later merged with the cult of Siva, worshipping using Shiva Linga, and it was worshipped during that time of the Pandavas. Panaprastha was the marketplace of the Panis, the Vanis, the Vaniks, the traders. And Panis are also mentioned in the Vedas as a tribe of traders, much like the Yadavas in the Dwarka region. So the Kuru territory, as per the Mahabharata, defines Kuru land between Ganga in the east, Saraswati in the west, Himalayas in the north, come Yakya and Dvaitya forest link to the west beyond Saraswati and territories of Panchala link to the east, Shursena to its southeast, Matsya to its south and Salva to its southwest. It was divided, all of this was divided by the Yamuna with Kuru Jangala in the west and Kuru proper in the east of Yamuna. The Kuru Jangala contained Kurukshetra in the north and Khandava in the south, which brings us to Kurukshetra. So Kurukshetra is a place which has witnessed many ancient battles. And some of these battles include the Devasura battles, Vedic versus Avistan conflicts resulting into the migration of the Avistans to the west of Saraswati and finally to the west of Sindhu. It, it has also seen the battle of Devas and others versus Varuna, the battle of Kartikeya versus Daitya Taraka, the battle of Bhargavaram, also known as Parshavaram versus Bhishma, the battle of Chitrangada with Shantanu Putra and Chitrangada with Gandharva, and finally, what we know as the Kurukshetra war, where Sri Krishna participated. So we all know about Balrama's travel along the Saraswati leading to the source of Yamuna. Now, this travel of Sri Balrama, also known as his Balrama's pilgrimage, tracing the Saraswati river from its confluence in the Western Ocean to its source in the lower Himalayas is detailed in the Selva Parva of the Mahabharata from chapters 33 to chapter 52. Now, Balrama follows the trail of Saraswati and finds its middle part lost in the desert, where we have the Thar desert today. So, there were almost 35 places which were visited by Lord Balrama. And the most crucial ones were lying on the banks of River Yamuna, whereas almost all of them were lying between the river Saraswati and river Yamuna. Some of them, some of the places like Yayata was the 17th place where Lord Balrama visited. Yayata is a place where Yayati, the son of Nahusha lived and he did penance there. The production of milk and clarified butter was the occupation of the Yadavas which started here. Names like Yayata here affirms that this was indeed the place where Yayati and other Ailya ancestors of the Kurus lived. Another place 
was Vashishta Prabaha. I'm sorry for my, for my uh, pronunciation of Sanskrit words because I'm not a scholar in Sanskrit. But this was a place where Vashishta lived on the eastern bank at Sthanu. Vishwamitra lived on the opposite bank. And this is the place where we witnessed the competition between Vashishta and Vishwamitra, which is recorded in the Vedas and the Mahabharatas. It is here that the Devas installed Skanda as their commander-in-chief, indicating this as the battlefield of the Adityas, Daityas, and the Danavas. There are various Tirthas of Aruna, Soma, Tejasya, and Agni. The Soma Tirtha, which Balrama visited, is a place where the battle of Devas versus Daityas, Danavas versus Rakshasas took place. And also the battle of Skanda versus Taraka took place. Tejasya Tirtha is the place where Varuna was installed as the king of the waters by Devas. In Agni Tirtha, the fire concealed inside Sami wood. And this is also the abode of sages Brahaspati and sages Bhrigu. Brahma Yoni. This is the spot which is mentioned as the seat of creation by Brahma. And this is significant even for Avistan belief as well. Because Brahma in their belief systems is represented as Spitama. The Mahabharata describes the whole of Kurukshetra as Brahmavarat and considered it as the northern sacrificial altar of Brahma and also of the Devas. Another name given to the land of Kurukshetra is Ilyaspada. Another area was called Kauvera, where, which was visited by Lord Balrama and situated close to the banks of river Yamuna. Elia Vilya, also known as Kovera, the king of Yakshas, had done penance here. The name Elia Vilya indicates that he lived in the territory of Ila, also known as Ilaspada, also known as Kurukshetra. Let's not forget, Ila is also Aditi, as per our Vedic culture. It was the same place where the Maruts had installed Kovera as their king. There is another place called Vadara Pashana, where Sur Suruvavati, the daughter of Rishi Bharadwaja, lived here as a Brahmacharini and became the spouse of Lord Indra. Here it is mentioned that a 12-year-old long drought was, happened here, which is connected to the Saptrishis and Arundhati, which is known as the constellation shift, which happened at that time. There are various Tirthas related to Indra, Rama. By when I say Rama, I talk about Parshurama. Varuna, Varuna, also known as Yamuna, because Varuna is the lord of the oceans, of the water, so also known as Yamuna, and various Adityas. Aditya, when we say, speak here about Aditya, we speak about the sun god. So Indra, they say, had done 100 Ashwamedas at the Indra Tirtha so that he could be proclaimed as king because he wanted to hold that title as being the ruler of the gods. Lord Parashurama at the Rama Tirtha had done 100 Ashwamedas and Vijapaya with Kashyapa as the priest. And Lord Balrama gave knives, elephants, sheep, and goats here as gifts. If we talk about the Varuna Tirtha, also called as the Yamuna Tirtha. So Lord Varuna had done the Rajasuya Yagya. Varuna battled against Manavas, Devas, Gandharvas, and Rakshasas. And a battle between the Devas and Danavas also occurred here at the Varuna Tirtha. At the Aditya Tirtha, Lord Aditya performed various penances. And just like Indra and Vishnu, Vishwadevas, Maruts, Kandharvas, Apsaras, Yakshas, Rakshasas, and Pisachas, all of them came to this Tirth to perform penance. 
In fact, Sage Vyasa and Devalya attained yogic powers by doing yoga at this Tirtha. There also existed an asylum of Sage Saraswat, which we know as Saraswat Brahmins. Bhi hote hai. So, Sage Saraswat taught the lost Vedas during the 12 year drought period, which I mentioned about earlier. Lord Dadichi and Apsara Alambusa are also living, uh, used to live at this Tirtha. And their son, on whose name this Tirtha was named, Sravasta. And it was here that their son Sravasta narrated the story of Rishi Dhadicha giving his bones to Indra, Lord Indra, to make the Vajra. There also existed the asylum of Mitra Varuna at Yamuna. And Indra, Agni, Aryaman, a lot of devtas came here because all of them fought with Varuna earlier. So they all came to the banks of Yamuna to make peace with Lord Varuna. So with this, you can understand how everything that we know of today, of our culture, of our religion, from the Vedas, from eh? we, we often refer to the Mahabharata, we often refer to all of these kind of texts to understand where we are coming from. It all originated in what we call the Yamuna Basin. Now let's talk about a little bit of international religions and how are we connected to the Yamuna. So let's focus on the Indo-European dispersal from the Yamuna Saraswati region. The five tribes mentioned in the Vedas, the Yadu, Turvasa, Dhrayu, Anu, and Puru, were ancestral to various Indo-European tribes who originated in India and then spread from here to the rest of Central Asia and Europe, speaking various Indo-European languages. This is one of the reasons why we say that the Sanskrit is the mother of all languages. The origin of Indo-European language precisely in the Ganga Yamuna Saraswati region, also known as the Kuru territory, also the modern Eastern Uttar Pradesh and Haryana. The Purus who stayed back in the, this ancestral territory as the Vedic period, in the Vedic period, in the Vedic period were also known as the Indo Aryans. The Yadus who gradually pushed to the south, they spread to the western shores of India, including Dwarka. And some Turvasas followed the Yadus and the others migrated westwards. The Anus migrated to the west of Saraswati and Sindhu, and finally settled in Iran as Indo-Iranians. The Dhrayus migrated further away and are the ancestors of the Indo-Europeans. The Turvasas who migrated along with the Yadus to the south were the Bhoja Yadavas. The Anus, also known as Anavas, diversified in the western migration as Daityas and Danavas, the Daitya stayed back in the west of Saraswati and Sandhu, and finally in Iran. They gave rise to the Avistan literature and later became the Zoroastrians. The Danavas later migrated from Iran to Armenia, to Greece, to become the Danan tribe, mentioned in the Iliad and the Odessi, and finally reached Ireland as Irishmen. The strong linguistic relationship between the Iranian, the Armenian, and the Greek mentioned in Talagheri's work can be explained in this way. Within the Kuru territory itself, the western part, that is the region between the Yamuna and Saraswati, later known to us as the land of Kurukshetra and Kuru Jangal, was the most happening place during the period of the Adityas 
and in the Vedic period when the Vedas were composed. Ganga, Ma Ganga, as a river, was discovered much later, starting with a king named Hasti, who established Hastinapur on the banks of Ganga, and later Santanu, who married Ganga and had a son, a powerful son called Bhishma, also known as the Ganga Putra, who plays a very important role in the Mahabharata. Moving on, the Purus, that is the descendants of the Adityas, who inherited the Aditya territories and became worshippers of their Adityas or their ancestral heroes, like Indra and, and others. And these were the people who, who were hailed in the Vedas and also still today are worshipped in many cultures and religions across the world, like in Greece, for instance. So the Purus, who were the descendants of the Adityas, had their ancient capital in the Kurukshetra region between Yamuna and Saraswati. And some of the locations which are identified are Bhir Rana, Rakhi Gari, and also the location of Indraprastha itself, much before the Pandavas built their city here. In the Avistan text, Indra or Indra worshippers or Daivas are mentioned as the primary enemy along with the Druj, Dhrayus. Vedic pantheon of gods and goddesses is partially shared, such as Yima, also known as Yama to us, Vivanghat, also known as Vivasvat, Mitra, Aryaman, also known as Aryaman to us. Avistan books, Bendidar, is an abbreviation of Vedevdat, which also means a book against the Devas. The position of Manu in the Vedas is replaced by Yima, our Vedic Yama, in the Avistan texts. Hence, when the Sanskrit texts talk about Manu's flood, Avistan text talks about Yima's flood, which is Yama's flood. So if you see the correlation that Yima, known as Yama, and for us Manu and Manu's flood, but both Yama and Manu, Avistan Manu, were both the sons of Surya, and both were brothers to Yamuna. So either way, we say that Yama was the first mortal, was the first person to die. And so was Manu, was the first mortal at that time. If, having said that, he was the father of, to all mankind and he was the first person to die. Which also creates the relevance between and the, uh, the importance between these interdependence or the interrelation between these various ancient texts. The Ahura Mazda, that is the Asura Medha in Sanskrit. So in the Avistan text, it is called the Ahura Mazda. And in Sanskrit, Asura Medha, that is the leader of the Asuras or the intellect of the Asuras is identifiable as Hiranya Kashyap. In their text, it is called Hiranya Kasipu. And in Sanskrit, we call it Hiranyakasya, as an Asura ruler who considered himself as God and murdered the worship of Vedic gods like Vishnu and Indra. So you see that we in Sanskrit, in Vedic texts, were worshipping the gods. And in the Avistan texts, they were worshipping the Asuras, the Hiranyakasya. So all this is somehow connected to our text and to the text of various other religions in the world, west of the Saraswati region. 
the avistan text further like the vendidad described ahura mazda as the god and this god ahura mazda is mentioned as murdering the worshippers of devas which brings us to this conclusion that it was the opposite that we who were left here and the uh, the purus who moved further so the purus stayed here and the the turvasas who had moved further west we had a difference in belief but we all had the characters in common if we move further towards the greek the religion we can have the identification of danas or danavas and as in, in the greek heroes as iliad and irishmen as danavas danan is mentioned 114 times in the iliad and 10 times in the odyssey the greek heroes who sacked troy like achilles patroclus antilochus agamemnon ajax are described as belonging to the danian tribe and the river names don and danube in europe are derived from the matronymic danu the goddess danu is hailed as the mother of the danavas by ancient irishmen as well as the sanskrit texts irish mother goddess is named danu and the te uh, and the term tawat the danan meaning peoples and tribes of the goddesses danu is prevalent among the ancient irishmen sages in the lineage of rishi bhrigus are described as the priest allied with the danavas in our itihas and puranas an example is sage usanas also known as shukra bhrigi who was the wife of bhrigu is mentioned in the sanskrit text whose characters resemble the goddess brig also known as brigid brigid who was an irish goddess belonging to the tauth the danan ancestors of goddess danu the bhrigus were the priestly class of the danavas as per sanskrit text while the phrygians were the priestly class for the irishmen so we see that there was a distinction so who we believe to be shukra was actually in a way worshiped by the religions and cultures more further west than greece as far as ireland now when we talk about the adityas we believe that the adityas were the most ancient ancestral tribe of the kurukshetra region that is the yamuna region so the most ancestral tribe mentioned in the region between yamuna and saraswati is the adityas the 12 adityas were hailed as the vedic gods dhat aryaman dhata aryaman mitra varuna indra vivasvat tvasta vishnu anshuman bhaga pusya and prajnya we've seen that the kurukshet region in all our texts is mentioned as the abode and there were various holy spots which were dedicated to aryaman mitra varuna indra and vivasvat which was visited by lord balrama and has been mentioned in the in the mahabharata text and several battles as we've already mentioned between the daityas and danavas and varuna and kartiki and taraka were all in the kurukshetra region therefore this region is identifiable with places where the adityas the daityas the danavas coexisted for a long time and from where the daityas and danavas migrated westwards and the adityas stayed back kurukshetra region is also hailed as devamuni the territory of the devas 
and the northern sacrificial altar of the devas and the sacred sacrificial altar of the grand sire brahma we've already mentioned that both manu and yama yima in the avistan text were the sons of vivasvat and hence the adityas sanskrit texts decide manu as the patriarch king who faced the great flood while in the avistan text it was yima yama who's portrayed as the king who faced the great flood and there was a city named after yama on the banks of yamuna in kuru jungle called yamaprastha so what we today known as the origin of mankind was from a land called yamaprastha on the banks of yamuna so manu and his daughter ilya ila are mentioned as living in the same kurukshetra region which was also known as ilyaspada named after manu's daughter ila aditi adityas so ila the goddess is also the mother of the ailyas adityas so the royal dynasty of elias originated from ila is one of the most ancestral tribe mentioned in the kurukshetra and these are the ones who moved westwards ila's place is mentioned ilias place also is mentioned in the rigveda and she is also described by another name in kurukshetra mahabharata the mahabharata uses the name ilias pala to denote ilias place and ilias son and ilias place are together mentioned in the rigveda the mahabharata clarifies that ilias son is the purus the pururavas and ilia as the daughter of manu and the mother of pururavas is also mentioned in the mahabharata ilias consort is described as buddh and this pair is akin to the aphrodite hermes pair in the greek mythology so what about these pururavas ayus and nahushas the pururavas is mentioned as the son of ilia and the lover of urvasi in the rigveda and the rigvedic hymn 10.95 is dedicated to the relationship of pururavas and urvasi the ayus or ayu ayush is mentioned as a god and a giver of life and as a king in the rigveda ayu is mentioned nine times in the rigveda and is mentioned as a god and king in the atharva veda many times and also once in the sama veda nahush and his tribe is mentioned in the sama veda and is also mentioned with aryas and dasyas in the atharva veda and nahush is also mentioned in the mahabharata as a naga so this brings us to the analysis of the yamuna belt ethnicity of nagas purus and yadus so there existed a multi layer relationship between the nagas purus and yadus who inhabited the banks of yamuna and there was kinship there were alliances and there were conflicts and wars between them the nahush as the naga ancestor of the yadus and purus is also the maternal grandfather of bhima who was a naga arjuna's naga wife ulupi and naga was also there was also uh, a naga mother of sage astika and it is mentioned in the yadava balrama described as a naga the yadava balrama is also described as a naga and all of this indicate a mutual kinship and a shared ancestry the nagas allied with the purus which were the deva worshippers against the anavas which were the daitya and the danavas in a battle mentioned in the avistan text when did that the naga leader was azi dahaka ahi dasak naga and this battle took place at avarinya which is also a place in the kurukshetra region 
Takshaka allied with Indra against Arjuna. The Naga tribes were themselves having sibling rivalry described in the Kadru Vinata narrative. The battle of Arjuna with Naga Takshak at Khandava, the murder of Kuru King Parikshit by Naga Takshak, the murder of many Nagas by Kuru King Janamajaya, the Naga conflicts with the Yadavas on the bank of Yamuna, all indicate mutual conflicts that happened in this region. Hastinapur, the Kuru city named after elephant, was also known as Nagapura. The capital of northern Panchala, Ahichatra, literally means the city of Ahinagas. The Khandava Prastha that existed before Indraprastha on the western banks of Yamuna and the forest along the banks of Yamuna were the territories of the Nagas who coexisted there with the Purus and the Yadavas. Another important aspect, apart from the lineage and the ancestry, is the time period, how we measure time. So we have the Markande Yuga system. So Rishi Markande or Sage Markande lived in the Yamuna Saraswati region. And one of the tributaries of river Yamuna, also known as Markanda, is named after the sage. Sage Markanda is described in the Mahabharata as a great scholar who knows the science of observation of the movement of the sun, moon, planets and stars, by which he knew the past, present and the future. In the Varna Parva of the Mahabharata, sage Markandeya describes to Yudhishthira the yuga system that he developed and this yuga system has a total duration of 12,000 years. So, which means that a person who lived on the banks of River Yamuna, there is a river dedicated to this sage which comes and meets the Yamuna and who has history of the past, present and future also lived on these banks. Let us come to another concept of the flood, the Manu's flood. The bathymetry studies indicates massive floods in the Gujarat Kutch area and the submergence of many islands, including Dwarka, in 12,500 BCE, 10,000 BCE, and 8,000 BCE. And Manu is mentioned as escaping this great flood and bringing his people from the flooded lands and reaching up to the Himalayas. And this correlates with the settlements like Bhirrana and Mehrgarh in 7570 BCE and 7000 BCE. Finally, places like the Rakhi Ghadi is a place where there is a long lineage of the Aditya, Elia, Puru and Bharata kings. Where all these people had settled in these two places called Bhirrana and Rakhigari. They say that Brahma, also known as Prakityas, lived in Kurukshetra as per the Mahabharata. Brahma Vrat is mentioned as the place where Brahma worked, which was also located in Kurukshetra, close to Sarandaka on Saraswati River. So, as we see that the pre Ailyas or the Adityas and the kings from Pururavas to Samavaras all lived in the region containing the region which is part of the Yamuna Saraswati belt. And what we call Bharat today comes from the word Bharatas, that is someone in the line of Swambarna. After 1000 years, it took Vashishta after he defeated the Panchalas when he came and settled at this place. And kings like Pradipa, Santanu, Vichitravira, Pandu, Arjun, 
अभिमन्यु परीक्षित जन्मजय सतानिक अश्वमेधत who developed in the prasthan hastinapur came much 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 later so with this we give you a view that from language to culture to religion to our way of living our ancient beliefs the gods that we worship everything that we know today of comes from the yamuna basin and apart from it being a river because our theories take us only back to the mahabharata and the kurukshetra war but the truth is that there was life there were gods there were deities there was the vedic period which was which all was much much before the mahabharata period and yamuna is the one and is the only one who still exist from that period until now everything else and everyone else does not exist in the true form we see surya we see agni we see indra all these devas as per the vedas but the one who we have damaged the most the devi who has seen it all and now is seeing something which i think she wouldn't have predicted herself is that this great bharat region this region from where religion has flourished this is the region where manu where um, yama yima they gave they, they they sustained life after the the great flood after the pralaya and it is today a capital it, it it flows through the capital of a great nation which has the most ancient history and unfortunately it is called the most polluted river in the world and unfortunately it dies in the same very place thank you uh, nira ji you are you are, you, are, you are mute you have to unmute yourself Uh, thank you yet. thank you so much uh, a lot of history a lot of connectivity with the world civilizations uh, some i may dispute which is another day another talk and uh, <laughs> because good. somehow i'm too deep deeply swam into all this for last 20 years but it's very very enlightening very so what part would you like to debate thank you on so much What not is, today what? i'm not going to debate on anything today no but i just want to know there are two parts for debate the for devas sure. and the asuras no, what no, part no, do no, you no. come from i am only going to stick to yamuna ma yamuna and i would like to thank you very much for this very very detailed and uh, a, a, a very uh, structured uh, sort of connection of yamuna uh, being the source of our civilization and culture whether it's like the most most ancient uh prehistoric historic as well as modern time and here is the place with where she is most ill treated most disrespected and actually literally dirt is thrown at her so this is something that is a very great matter of concern and that's why today we have uh i think it would be interesting for you to answer questions from experts who have written on yamuna Sure. and i would uh, like to uh, invite uh, Ch uh, chandrakant ji to raise any issues i would request everybody to limit the questions to yamuna because we want to make this a yamuna specific uh, question answer session and uh, pertaining to the issues that we the yamuna ma yamuna faces today and how we should take it forward and anything about yamuna that uh, uh, the speaker has honorable speaker has uh, sort of enumerated which anybody would like to talk about uh, question him about 
So thank you so much. And Aryan, I think you could coordinate the Q&A, starting with uh, Major Chandrakanji. Thank you. Also, Aryan, he was taking some notes. So I would like to hear what Aryan has to say. Yes, yes. <laughs> yes. I, I only have a very uh, primary question. But uh, yes. before that, uh, I, we would like to uh, hear from Major Chandrakanji. Yeah. Please. Pranam, everyone. Pranam. Uh, my only thing is, thank you. Firstly, a very comprehensive, very informative uh, backgrounder to the whole civilizational structure and uh, the place of the Yamuna uh, in our lives. Thank you. Because um, for me, the Ganga and the Yamuna are really sisters. But the abode of the Ganga is heaven. For us who are on the earth is the Yamuna. And most of us Indians, you know, we are a mixture of Shaivites, Vaishnavism, and Shaktas. But for Vaishnavs, their lifeblood is the Yamuna. Sure. And as you have said, we are murdered. Yes, sir. It is time for us to book the murderers. Let us get together and start filing FIRs against individuals who had the Delhi Judge Board or the municipalities on the uh, on the route uh, on the mm. on the Yamna uh, basin, because yes. till we start targeting specific people, and multiple FIRs are launched, mm. these people will abrogate their responsibilities. Mm. Just remember, I say multiple FIRs. See what's happened to a unit cabinet minister. I think Rane is his name. Mm. For some you know minor issue, he made a statement. Correct. And he was Correct. arrested. If Correct. we file multiple, you know, the bridge Vasis and the others, mm. and as you said, uh, where the Yamna runs through only 2% of the land and it will provide 70% of the pollution into the, um, uh, into the river and kills the river, I think it is time to take concrete ac uh, action against specific individuals. Let them run to Etawa to answer the court there. Hmm. Let them run to Agra, Matra, Brindavan, anywhere along the line. Then only will sanity prevail. The only thing is the residents of Delhi, hmm. which includes you and me and you know, a lot of other people, I'm only a partial resident there, will, and the ministers and the judges may not be very sympathetic to our cause, but till it hits them home, I'm sorry, the thing will continue as they are. That's all that I have to say, but thank you very much, uh, Chaturvedi Ji. It was a very informative and like talk. Thank you so much, sir. And thank you, Neerji, for getting this together. Thank you, thank you. Any any specific question you would like to raise? Of course, you have given very wonderful. No, it's advice. a very important suggestion that he's made. He has been telling me this for last three months, but uh, somehow I'm so happy that you could join us so early in the morning and your wife has helped you to <laughs> get logged. You told me you can't do it yourself. So thank you so much to her also. Uh, any other? Yes, now the question answer. I would like that. to I would uh, like to mention that we have a, a very good friend of mine. Hmm. Um, and his name is Mr. Anil Khaitan. Okay. He is a very prominent industrialist and he has been uh, the president of the PhD Chamber of Commerce and Industry. Oh. And uh, I'm so happy that he has joined and he has brought in the picture of Kailash Mansarovar. Thank you so much, Anilji. Most welcome, uh, Anilji. And if Anilji, you would, would you like, like to say something? Yeah, we would like to hear a few comments from you or any question that you may want to have, please. Uh, Ranjit, yeah. uh, I think uh, indeed I also agree with the previous two, uh, I mean, uh, the two uh, distinguished uh, speakers, I mean, not speakers, uh, but they asked you, or they, you know, gave you compliments. I agree with that. You've done a nice detailed description. At least to me, I've get I have. Uh, I've I didn't please see somebody's mic is please. And uh, uh, you Aryan. went back so far in history, much beyond Mahabharata. So indeed, I will be sitting with you to get some more uh, to get some more knowledge. Now that's about the knowledge part. Now what uh, you know, Chandrakanji has said. 
I think that is what is important now. Like uh, Prime Minister Modi has taken the Ganga mission. One is at the government level. Somebody put off their mic. Somebody which is getting disturbed. Amit, Amit Goon, can you? I think the. Somebody please. Sorry, I'm sorry, Anilji. I'm sorry. Sorry, so sorry. Yeah. No, I was saying what Chandra Kanji said hmm. is absolutely correct. Because in this country, I have every day I see that there's some judgment coming from the Supreme Court which ultimately runs this country. Hmm. So uh, when the politicians or the bureaucrats and even we the people, if we are not conscious towards nature, towards something which is feeding us feeding our children, our families. It's been the nourisher of our existence. Absolutely, because you know, water is the basis. You know, so today, agar yam agar matlab ane Ganga ji pe sarkar itna kam kar rahi hai, to today Yamuna ji pe kya kam ho raha hai, Ranjit? Ye jara agar tum hamlo ke saath share karo ki whether government does it have any plan for the river Yamuna, like Prime Minister Modi has a huge plan for Ganga ji. Does he have a plan for Yamuna ji? If you can please there throw is some nothing. light on that. No, there is nothing. In uh, fact... Anil ji, can I just uh, intervene? Sorry uh, on this. Uh, but I, if I remember correctly, I moved to Delhi in 1995. 1996, I sort of been talking to people and I said, uh, why don't we do something for your Bible of Yamuna? Why I said this? Because when I stayed in Bengal, there is this Gamoda River and it has been very beautifully uh, sort of beautified with a place called Limaya Park and we would go in the evening. So I wanted to have that concept here. Believe you me, Within a few months, I read in the papers that a lot of money has been uh, by, uh, given for a Yamuna uh, development plan. And I'm talking about 1996. And I, I don't want to name the politician here. He was the head of it. And from then, where the money has gone, what has happened is for everybody to see. I would like to just add here, Mr. Khetan, what you said. See, there is a Namami Gange plan, and under that yeah. Namami Gange plan, they look they look at the entire country, but they've given it a title of Namami Gange because Ganga being the uh, apparently the most important river of the country, the holiest. But uh, contrary to that, ironically, when we sing our national anthem, we say Yamuna Ganga, not Ganga Yamuna. So Yamuna comes first. Even in even in the big way, the Nadi Sutra, the Yamuna comes first. Secondly, uh, there is Yamuna is a part of the Namami Gange, but just as a part because Yamuna is considered a, a sister river of uh, Ganga. But nothing specific uh, seems by the way, to be visible. By the way, Ganga is not mentioned in the Veda, I think. It's just mentioned. Ganga once. is mentioned. Is the, it once. starts with the Nadi Sutra starts with Ganga, Yamuna, etc. etc. But in the Rig Veda, yes, but in Rig Veda, Yamuna in the is Rig mentioned Ganga, twice. Ganga, Ganga after and happened uh, during Sagar's time, which is an ancestor of Ram. So there is a proper document. As I said, we'll discuss the history part later. Okay, but coming back to the, the government. Actually, part, you know, Mr. I Kata. mean, you know, that Ranjit, just to conclude my what you asked me. Okay. What I would strongly suggest is that you have the contacts in the government, the ministry, you know whom to meet. And since you know the ground root reality, I think you should take this mission forward. And one person you should meet definitely is Mr. Nitin Gadkari. He has tremendous ideas and he was in charge also as a minister hmm. of the Ganga program. And he'll give a lot of ideas to you or a lot of status as to what the government is thinking for the Yamuna River. Hmm. Because I somehow can't swallow it that the government has thought nothing about the Yamuna River and they are only thinking about the Ganga River. So, check it They don't they care, have, sir. They have combined it with the G Namami Gange project, as I said. So, but oh, little, little attention is being given because I am in constant touch with the uh, DG, and I have done a Ganga uh, a big project with them. Uh, but the point is, it's just a minimal part of it. It's not a serious part because, as we said, there's no activism on it. Right. Okay. Thank you, Manjula ji. I'll, Aapka speaker, please. Can she be unmuted? Uh, Aryan, please. Aryan, okay. aap shuru karo and She's unmuted. 
Manjula ji is from the Ministry of Home, Home Affairs. She works very closely yeah. with the Hindi yeah. Sahitya Department. Right, right. So please. And she's been hearing the whole thing. And she has actually Ma Ganga behind her, I think. Oh, or is it Saraswat? Or is it Ma Yamuna? Ma Yamuna. Yeah, Ma Lakshmi. Achha. Yamuna hiya, matlab. Thik hai. Aap sabhi ko भारत सरकार की एक सभी आशा समिति है जो उन्नीस में भारत सरकार ने बनाई थी जिसमें 30 सांसद हैं 20 लोकसभा के और दस सांसद जिसके आशा जी हैं और इस समिति का काम है कि भारत सरकार के जितने भी कार्यालय हैं उनमें हिंदी के प्रयोग में जो प्रगति हुई उसका हम लोग विश्लेषण करते हैं और फिर उसका विश्लेषण करके उस पर रिपोर्ट को हम राष्ट्रपति जी को देते हैं आगे की कार्रवाई की तो अभी उसका दसवा खंड हम अभी जा रहे हैं जी के पास आ रहे हैं आप जल्दी बोल रही हैं तो आपकी वॉइस पता है ऐसे कर रही है मतलब अगर आप स्लोली बोले प्लीज अजीत आपको बहुत बहुत मैं साधुवाद देना चाहूंगी आपने हमें टाइम कर दिया और जो कुछ हमने भारत में पढ़ा है वेदों में पढ़ा है वो सब हमने जो उसका एहसास भी आपने तो आज की तारीख में हमारे पास जो ऑप्शन है कि जो सच्चाइयां आपने समेटी है कि यमुना की लंबाई का केवल दो प्रतिशत दिल्ली से गुजर रहा है और सत्य प्रतिशत प्रदूषण हम लोग कस में करके इसकी मृत्यु कर रहे हैं इसके ऑक्सीजन को हमने खत्म कर दिया मुझे बहुत अच्छे से याद है जब मैं बच्ची थी और मैं यमुना जी में गई थी तो इतने बड़े बड़े कछुए होते थे और पिछले तीस सालों से मैं जब भी मथुरा जाती हूँ मैं देखती हूँ मुझे वो एक भी कछुआ नजर नहीं आता और हमने भारत सरकार में रह करके सारी नदियों का वाटर पॉलिसी का स्टडी किया है तो सभी ने ऑक्सीजन कंटेंट आया तो हमने पूरे इकोसिस्टम को बर्बाद कर दिया है अपने क्योंकि हम लोग पैसे को मेरे में लगे हुए हैं फैक्ट्रिया बना रहे हैं मॉल्स बना रहे हैं और सारा प्रदूषण नदियों में डाल करके हमने अपने लिए नरक बहुत अच्छे से क्रिएट कर लिया ये बेकूफिया हम लोगों ने की हैं पिछले पचास सालों में और अब अति हो गई है और हम सबको अपनी दिशा और दशा बदलने के लिए एक प्रदीप है पहली बात है हम सब मिलकर के इन सच्चाइयों को भारत सरकार और दिल्ली सरकार कोर्ट के माध्यम से एफ के माध्यम से उन पर साफ करने के लिए बहुत फुटिंग पर हिंदी की भी वही स्थिति है अभी दस अगस्त को जी ने संसद में हम की बैठक हुई थी वो कह रहे थे हिंदुस्तान जो आजाद हुआ था तीन चीजों पर आता स्वदेशी स्वभाषा और स्वराज विनोबा बाबे वगैरह ने कितना संघर्ष किया सरदार पटेल ने कितना संघर्ष किया लेकिन हम लोग बड़े एक सपनों की दुनिया में जी रहे हम पश्चिम की नकल करने में लगे रहे पिछले पचास साल जो कुछ भी विदेशों से आया हम उसको आगे बंद कर टूडे because we yeah. have to report compile this program on yeah. yamuna so we want to stick to yamuna please today definitely to so, yamuna se related aaj ki jo sthitiyan hain jo aankde hain in sab ko lekar ke hame bharat sarkar aur delhi sarkar dono par sabko saath milkar ke dabav dalne ki zarurat hai taki jaldi se jaldi jo pradushan hai usko hum rok sake aur yamuna ko revive kar sake thank you adrian please take over thank you thank you well uh i i don't have questions for ranjit but i do have not only a suggestion rather i would like to push him to do that oh no <laughs> ranjit you, you have to do it with me by the way by the way whatever you are suggesting you will have to do with me and i'm counting I'm you in as a partner i'm always with you <laughs> see we when we are talking about you know we are actually talking about the biggest crime of the century you talked yeah. about murder by humanity we are actually talking about the biggest crime of the century fantastic but we are we are forgetting one thing this crime can make us extinct hmm dar and discipline they are very much interrelated 
जब तक डर नहीं है ना डिसिप्लिन आती नहीं है एंड वॉट आई बिलीव इन एवरी लेवल फ्रॉम एग्जीक्यूटिव टू द गवर्नमेंट एंड इवन टू पीपल बेसिक पीपल हु आर कॉन्स्टेंटली कनेक्टेड टू यमुना जिनके लाइफ को यमुना माँ यमुना सींच रही है उनमें डिसिप्लिन लाने के लिए थोड़ा सा डर पैदा करना भी बहुत जरूरी है मुझे लगता है वी शुड टेल पीपल वॉट विल एक्चुअली हैपन इफ यमुना बिकम अनदर सरस्वती वॉट विलपन इफ इट ड्राइज अप what will happen if the source our real water source get toxic that toxic that our children are going to die tomorrow or even maybe in another 20 years or 25 years in the prasth may not exist mathura may not exist jab hame ye dar agar hum log paida kar sake logon ke dil mein to i really do, do think that discipline what is required to revive my yamuna we can achieve it what i wanted to suggest you have started an initiative which is unmatched work towards making it a movement until and unless this initiative atma project atma nirva especially for my amuna becomes a movement i really don't think okay this discipline can be created mm-hmm. i think we can t- and I, i do understand we have to do it together because we all are the son of my amuna and we have to save our mother mm-hmm. otherwise we won't exist and probably we won't be there to even talk about a crime which we are committing without even knowing or maybe at times by knowing us and people who are doing it knowingly they are to be punished definitely be punished and i think okay, today i take a oath i'll do everything in my capacity to save my yamuna and i'm with you ranjit i want you to i want you to lead this oath with everybody who's present here let us take this oath I want you to say it, and we will repeat it with our hands here. Aryan, go on. Okay, we can we can we can say it together. Yes. You know, Everybody, hands on the chest, hands on the heart. जहाँ पर भी आपका दिल है, जिनका दिल नहीं है वो हाथ छोड़ दे. हम आपके लिए हैं माय यमुना और हम आपके साथ हैं and we want to make sure you live again and let's let us be the oxygenator, you know, the supply, you know, let us together. give the real supply of oxygen what our mother requires today she, she is in icu we want to see her at her true home jai ho beautiful yeah jai shri ram rajin thank you uh, thank you so much must say beautiful anybody so, else would like you have no questions aryan so is there anybody else who would like to uh, ask any question i think anurag uh, धर्मदास जी जी आप कुछ सम्राट आपने बहुत अच्छा प्रेजेंटेशन बनाया रियली वेरी वेरी नॉट ओनली एस्थेटिकली प्रेजेंट बट ऑफ कोर्स नॉलेज वाइज इट्स अ वेरी गुड रिसर्च एंड मेनी मेनी कंग्रेचुलेशन एंड कीप डूइंग दिस वर्क फॉर आर सी बिकॉज आर सी नीड्स ऑल दिस सपोर्ट बिकॉज वी नीड टू टेक दिस प्रोजेक्ट आई मीन दिस मिशन कुछ कहना है आपको अनुराग एनी समथिंग अनुराग जी आजा वीडियो पे भी आ जाओ अनुराग कहे यस वीडियो ऑन नहीं हो रहा अच्छा आई थिंक हां आई सी इज स्टार्टिंग कुछ बोलना है तो बोलो अनुराग आ रे लैब की तरफ से वीडियो ऑफ है क्या आ गया आ गया आ गया आ गया आई कैन बोलो अनुराग बस वैसे तो कहना चाहूंगा कि बोलने के लिए आपने जितना प्रेजेंटेशन काफी अच्छे तरीके से दे दिया शायद मैं ना दे पाऊं इतने अच्छे से बट ये है कि आने वाले टाइम पे अभी भी हम लोग जागरूक नहीं हुए शायद हम यमुना नदी को खो देंगे ऑलमोस्ट खो चुके हैं सरस्वती नदी ऑलमोस्ट जा चुकी है अपने मथुरा में सरस्वती नदी का जहाँ नंद बाबा आए थे वो एक नदी है काफी प्राचीन वो खत्म हो चुकी है अभी सरस्वती नाले में पर जी सरस्वती महाविद्या मंदिर जहाँ भगवान श्री कृष्ण ने छठी पूजन किया था तो वो नदी एकदम खत्म हो चुकी है और देखा जाए तो दिल्ली से और मथुरा तक बेल्ट है जो यमुना जी की उसकी स्थिति अभी क्या कह सकते हैं कि ब्रज का जो स्वरूप है उसकी वजह से वहां यमुना जी का भी हमको दर्शन हो जाता है मथुरा गोकुल से आगे नहीं है ऑलमोस्ट दिल्ली में भी नहीं है जागरूकता जरूरी है सबको कचरा डालते हैं 
अभी नमामि गंगे से टेपिंग का काम चालू है वो बोल रहे हैं कि 30 अक्टूबर से बंद हो जाएगा सब लेट सी क्या होता है एनी सजेशन यू वुड लाइक टू गिव आप कुछ सुझाव देना चाहेंगे या कुछ स्पेसिफिक बात बट क्वेश्चन पूछना चाहेंगे अदरवाइज वी मूव टू द नेक्स्ट वन ओके आई थिंक हमारे पंडित जी भी जुड़े हुए हैं ना फ्रॉम मुंबई धर्मदास जय श्री कृष्ण सभी को जय श्री कृष्ण सभी को जय श्री कृष्ण और आपने आज कृष्ण भगवान का नाम ले लिया जय श्री कृष्ण जय रमना मैया की और रंजीत भैया ने जो एक्सप्रेशन दिया है वो तो उसके लिए तो शब्द ही नहीं है और मैं तो इतना ही कहना चाहूंगा कि यमुना जी का वर्णन जो है जो महाप्रभु बल्लभाचार्य जी ने किया है आज जरूरत है कि उन महाप्रभु बल्लभाचार्य जी की दृष्टि से और हमारे ब्रिज के जो अष्ट सखा हुए है सूरदास जी कुमन जी परमानंद दास जी छी स्वामी जी इनके जो गाए हुए जो यमुना जी के इकतालीस पद हैं उनके द्वारा यदि हम एक जागृति अभियान चलाएं और समस्त देश में हम एक यमुना जी के तुम सेमिनार बोलो उसको आप उसको सत्संग बोलो और वो यदि करें यमुना मंथन हाँ कुछ भी आप आप उसका नाम कुछ भी दें और मैं आपको एक बात हाईलाइट करना चाहूंगा कि यमुना जी के जो फॉलोअर हैं वो है पुष्टि मार्गीय वैष्णव जन आज पांच करोड़ वैष्णव डेली नित्य प्रति यमुना अष्टक का पाठ करता है और यमुना जी के इकतालीस पदों का पाठ करता है यदि हम अपनी इस समस्या को लेकर के उनके बीच में जाए और जो उनके धर्म गुरु है हम उनसे संपर्क करें तो विद इन एयर वी कैन अटैच फाइव करोड़ वैष्णव टू दिस आत्मनिर्भर ग्रुप आई विश द्वारकेश लाल जी को टूडे एंड आपने हाँ सॉरी कंटिन्यू सॉरी हाँ तो मैं यही यही कहना चाहूंगा कि ये जो आजकल जो भारत में 135 करोड़ की जनता बताते हैं तो जो 135 करोड़ की जनता है उसको केवल इतना पता है कि यमुना जी एक नदी स्वरूप है यमुना जी नदी स्वरूप तो है ही लेकिन उसका एक स्त्री स्वरूप भी है जैसे एक राधा का है जैसे एक द्रौपदी का था ऐसे उनका एक स्त्री स्वरूप भी है जिसको हम आदि दैविक स्वरूप कहते हैं जिनके हाथ में एक हाथ में कमल की माला है एक हाथ में कमल की छड़ी है उनका स्वरूप है दाएं दे कमल माल बाए कमलन छड़ी मुकट जामा पटका भेष श्याम संग धायो है बन माल गुंज माल सो है और नूपुर की झनक झनक झनकारो है और इस स्वरूप से श्री यमुना जी राधका जी को मनाने के लिए जा रही है चौक उठी राधका सेज हूती अद्भुत रूप नैन को निहारो है मान कर दीनी संग चल दीनी कृष्ण सो मिलावे कृष्णा रूप ये त्योहारो है तो आज बहुत आज बहुत आज, बहुत आज जरूरत है यमुना जी के प्रचार की सभी को जागृत करने की हाँ। बस इसी के साथ मैं मेरी बाणी को बिरा आपको एक अच्छी बात सुनाना बताना चाहूंगी कि इंद्रप्रस्थ में भी एक जगह है आश्रम के नाम से तो आश्रम पे बैठ के शंकराचार्य ने भी यमुना स्तुति करी थी और यमुना के ऊपर एक अष्टकम लिखा था और आपने जो बहुत अच्छी बात कही यमुना जी की जो आपने परिभाषा हमें बताई तो मानो तो मैं यमुना माँ हूँ ना मानो तो बहता पानी जी हम उसको बहता पानी भी नहीं छोड़ पाए हैं माँ तो दूध की बात है तो हमें उसको पहले पानी लाना है यमुना का और रही इस, इस यमुना जी के पानी की बात ये यमुना जी का जो पानी है वो 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 क्या है तो जैसे वेदों में कहा गया है कि रसो यह परमाधारा सच्चिदानंद लक्षण ब्रह्मेत उपनिषद गीस देव यमुना स्वयं भगवान को हम कहते हैं निराकार है भगवान का आकार नहीं है और जब वो ही भगवान निराकार बनता है जल स्वरूप बनता है वही यमुना का स्वरूप है भगवान श्री कृष्ण के अंग में से ये यमुना प्रकट हुई है और ये यमुना गोलोक धाम से अवतरित हुई है कोई साधारण नदी नहीं है जो तो आज जरूरत है हमको इसके प्रचार की हमको प्रचार के लिए अब क्या आप विचार कर रहे हैं मेरा तो आपसे निवेदन है कि आप इस पर विचार करें और यमुना मंथन कहो यमुना सेमिनार कहो यमुना सत्संग जो भी आप नाम देना चाहें और मैं इसके लिए आप मेरी श्वास श्वास में 
जीवन पर्यंत मैं यमुना के लिए समर्पित हूँ आप जहाँ चाहे मेरा उपयोग कर सकती हैं बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद मैं तो आपको कई बार फोन करके परेशान भी करती रहती हूँ <laughs> और मैं, मैं हम लोग बिल्कुल देखिए ये हम लोगों का एक मिशन है इसीलिए मैंने स्पेसिफिकली इस प्रोग्राम को यमुना फोकस रखने की कोशिश करी है कि हम इसका प्रचार करें या ये जो आज हमारी रिकॉर्डिंग होगी उसके साथ साथ हम लोग चंद्रकांत जी तो मुझे बहुत दिन से कह रहे हैं मैडम आप पी आई एल लाओ पी आई एल लाओ अगर द्रौपदी नहीं लाएगी अपनी जगह की रक्षा के लिए तो कौन लाएगा लेकिन हाँ अब हमें इसको सीरियसली सोचना है क्योंकि अब हमारा एक फॉर्मलाइज स्ट्रक्चर्ड इंफॉर्मेशन चैनल बना है जिसके द्वारा अब हम इसको आगे ले जा सकेंगे और डेफिनेटली इसको आगे बहुत मल्टीपल uh, लेवल्स पे इसका प्रचार होना है स्कूल लेवल्स कॉलेज लेवल्स के साथ साथ आई थिंक हमें दरवाजे भी खटखटाने होंगे जो इम्पोर्टेंट दरवाजे हैं जैसे चंद्रकांत जी ने कहा तो आप सब ने इतना अच्छा इनपुट दिया एनी बडी एल्स वुड लाइक टू से समर्थ वुड यू लाइक टू से समथिंग एनी बडी एल्स वुड लाइक टू हाँ जी हाँ नमस्ते Jamna is polluted. We all know the cost for it. We all know everything what is behind it. So before any thing get extinct, even the wildlife is supported by Jamna, the and even land, everything, even our human life, everything is basically depending on. Seventy-five percent of our body is water, and if water. we are eating, yes. having this type of water, can you imagine what we are doing to ourselves? Yes. Yeah, yeah. And and we can see the climatic changes due to which we are now facing so much of diseases and everything, which will come up again and again and again. And if we want to get rid of them, the first basic step is that we must start acting on our nature. We must start uh, protecting our climate because climate can only keep us survive for a long time. If we are not going to uh, support the climate, we are not going to support this river. we are not going to survive for uh, any long so time and our really earth will be huh. another mars i would really suggest each of you can send us a mail with specific in, uh, inputs on what action plan do you suggest what are your action points for this at different levels because the actions have to move it can't be just one thing going for a pil is one part mm -hmm. but an awareness when the pil is there there has to be a movement and as uh, uh, dharmendra das ji has said i think we should also uh, put in this uh, video to the people who are absolutely yamuna bhakts like the uh, vallabhacharya sect besides the government so i think it's very good anybody else would like to say something um, rc aap kuch bolo main kuch kehna chahunga rc ha ha yes i are in bolo ha mere mere mujhe mera ek sujhav hai jo sujhav I mean, it's on a lighter side, but very serious सुझाव इस सुझाव को मानने से ठीक है एक साल के अंदर यमुना अपने आप साफ हो जाएगी दिल्ली के विधानसभा और पार्लियामेंट में जो भी लोग जाते हैं जिनको पानी पीना होता है यमुना के पानी पिए कंपाई कंपल्सरी आर्यन मैं आपको बताता हूँ अच्छी सिर्फ पानी पिए जिस कंडीशन में माँ यमुना है वही पानी पिए नहीं नहीं अपने आप अपने आप पूरी यमुना साफ हो जाएगी यहाँ पर अनुराग समर्थ धर्मदास जी हैं अभी रिसेंटली मथुरा में किसी ने यमुना का जल भरा बोतल में एक व्यापारी था और शायद कोई अग्रवाल और उसने बोला कि मैं श्रीकांत शर्मा जो हमारे यहाँ से पावर मिनिस्टर है पांच लाख रुपए दूंगा अगर वो उसको पी ले उसने एक लीटर पानी लिया और उसने बोला फिर बाकी के लोग इनाम देने लगे तो इनाम की राशि इतनी हो गई कि करोड़ों में चली गई किसी ने बोला मैं एक लाख दूंगा मैंने लिखा मैं दस लाख रुपए दूंगा अगर भी हो गया तो <laughs> मेरी तरफ से एंड एंड मैं आपको बताऊं मैं आपको एक बहुत इंटरेस्टिंग चीज बताता हूं मैंने स्वयं मैंने कम से कम एक ग्लास पानी क्योंकि कोई जब हम लोग अपनी यात्रा में दिल्ली पहुंचे थे तो वहां पर कुछ बाद में कुछ ऐसे लोग जाए गूंज टाइप के जो भक्ति की बात करते कि अरे आपने हमारी जगह को ले लिया ये कर लिया वो कर लिया ऐसे वो जो लैंड ग्रैबिंग टाइप के लोग होते हैं सो I questioned them. There was this lady. I said, "Agar ap Yamuna ki itni badi bhakto chalo aao. Ye chhut ghat hai. Ap mm. isme se pani pi karke dekhao." Usne bola, "Tum pi sakte ho." Maine bola, "Haan pi sakta hu." Usne bola, "Pijiye." 
तो मैंने एक बॉटल भरी छठ घाट पे मैं बताना मैं उसको वापस भी नहीं जाना चाहता कि मेरे को क्या फीलिंग हुआ उस समय पर बट मैंने वो बॉटल भरी और मैंने उसको पिया उसके सामने और मेरे साथ में एक मुकेश चतुर्वेदी भी है मथुरा के जो मेरी यात्रा में थे उन्होंने भी पिया फिर हमने उस लेडी से पूछा अब आप पी के देखाओ तब हम मानेंगे कि आप भक्त हो एंड आई सल्यूट दैट लेडी उस लेडी ने भी एक बॉटल भर करके पिया एंड शी वॉज फ्रॉम पानीपत और वो शो करता है कि कितना कोई व्यक्ति एक काज के लिए डेडिकेटेड हो सकता है मैंने पिया मैं आज भी मैं चैलेंज करता हूं अगर जो यमुना का भक्त है वो हमारे घाटों से हमारे विश्राम घाट से पानी का बोतल भरे और मैं सबको बुलाता हूं प्रधानमंत्री को बुलाता हूं राष्ट्रपति को बुलाता हूं जितने भी लोग हैं इस देश में साधु संत बड़े बड़े जो हैं मैं उन सबको बुलाता हूं जो क्लेम करते हैं कि हम ये करते हैं मैं कहता हूं चलो आओ आकर के यमुना का पानी पियो मेरे साथ मैं एक बॉटल पियूंगा आप लोग सौ लीट सौ एम एल पियोगे आपसे दस गुना मैं पियूंगा बट आप पी करके तो दिखाओ नहीं मिलेंगे आपको लोग जहां तक आपने उसकी बात कही कि बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट आपने बात की समर्थ ने भी कही सबने कही कि अनुराग ने भी कही कि हमारा विनाश हो जाएगा अगर यमुना चली गई तो देखिए यमुना तो कहीं नहीं जाने वाली ये मैं बताता हूं मेरी जो फीलिंग है हम जरूर चले जाएंगे यमुना नहीं जाएगी अगर आप आदि शंकराचार्य का आप यमुनाष्टक अगर सुनेंगे तो उसमें कोविड करके शब्द है एक कोविड ऐसे ही जब आप हनुमान चालीसा सुनते हैं तो उसमें भी कोविद शब्द आ जाता है तो हनुमान चालीसा में भी आता है और आदि शंकराचार्य की यमुनाष्टक में भी आता है सो इट टुक लिटरली अ कोविड फॉर यमुना टू बिकम क्लीन कोविड क्या था एक अटोमिक पार्टिकल से भी छोटा चीज अगर आप पूरी दुनिया में जितना कोविड हुआ है अगर आप उसको एक मेजर करोगे वेइंग स्केल पर तो वो दो ग्राम से ज्यादा नहीं है टू ग्राम्स जो पूरी दुनिया में जो फैला है सो दिस टू ग्राम्स ऑफ अ वायरस हैज क्रिएटेड मिलियंस ऑफ डेथ्स आपने हेल्थ की बात की जब हमने अपनी यात्रा की हथनी कुंड के बाद से आज भी लोगों के मुझे फोन आते हैं कि भैया मुझे कैंसर है हमारे गांव में कैंसर है आप नोएडा से निकल करके जब जाते हैं तो वहां पर एक कैंसर विलेज ऑफ एशिया है जहां पर हर घर में कैंसर पेशेंट है हर घर में लोगों को ये नहीं पता और जो मथुरा में आज हमको पानी आ रहा है वो अपर गंगा कनाल से गंगा का पानी आकर के थोड़ा सा भाव क्रिएट कर दिया जाता है लेकिन यमुना का एक परसेंट जल नहीं है जब बारिश होती है तो बारिश के माध्यम से पानी आ जाता है हम आगे उसको छोड़ते हैं यमुना को जिंदा रखने वाली अगर दिल्ली के बाद अगर कोई नदी है तो वो चंबल है तो चंबल और सिंध जब वो आकर के मिलती है और भद्रा जब वो आकर के मिलती है यमुना में तब जाकर के यमुना को थोड़ा सा रिप्लेनिशमेंट मिलता है तब जाकर के वो प्रयाग पहुंचती है अगर हम गर्ग सहायता को पढ़ेंगे जिसमें यमुना और गंगा का संवाद है तो उसमें हमको ये पता चल जाएगा कि गंगा क्या रूपी है क्या महिमा है और जो गंगा यमुना के बारे में कहती है हमें तो वो भी पता चल जाएगा लेकिन दिस इज नॉट द प्लेटफॉर्म फॉर फॉर अस टू डू दैट चंद्रकांत जी हैज गंगा इज अ मैन मेड रिवर गंगा वाज अ स्पेशली मैन मेड रिवर यमुना इज अ नेचुरल रिवर व्हिच इज अ पार्ट ऑफ द सॉर्ट ऑफ मैन मेड नहीं कहूंगा मैं कहूंगा कि उसका गंगा इज अ मैन मेड का आवाहन किया गया था नहीं नहीं गंगा इज अ मैन मेड रिवर व्हिच आई विल टेल यू लेटर दिस इज नॉट द टाइम टू डिस्कस गंगा yeah but i wouldn't call it a man made river anyways it is a uh, man made river I, we have scientific proofs for it okay i think i think that that can be <laughs> that yeah, that's a different <laughs> issue that's a different issue and i feel yeah. that's a very interesting topic also but however no, that is related to sagar and how sagar and the fifth generation bhagirath how they planned it that's a different issue altogether let's not confuse the two because today we have to save yamuna because we have to save our civilization from getting this area the braj and the indraprastha and the indra bhumi and the brahma kshetra uh, secure no no we we can only do our prayas and my yami doesn't care ki uska kya hoga hum tuch manushya hai yahan par jitne bhi hai hum sirf prayas kar sakte hain apne ishq ke liye hum apne ishq ko nahi bacha sakte 
हमारा साठ सत्तर साल का हमारा एक जो इतिहास है वो बहुत जल्दी इतिहास हो जाएगा और लोग ये भी नहीं जानेंगे कि कौन आया था क्या कह करके गया था लेकिन जब तक हम जीवित हैं हम ये जरूर डिसाइड कर सकते हैं कि हम कौन से देवता के लिए कौन से इष्ट अपने के लिए क्या काम कर सकते हैं अगर आप किसी को मानते हो अगर आप किसी में विश्वास रखते हो तो आप उसके लिए क्या कर सकते हो सवाल बस इतना ही है और क्या कर सकते हो वो तभी होता है जो धर्मदास जी कहते हैं वो तभी आप कर सकते हो जब आपके ऊपर उनकी कृपा होगी नहीं तो सैकड़ों करोड़ों हजारों लोग हैं जो बहुत क्षमता भी रखते हैं और बहुत कुछ कर भी सकते हैं लेकिन वो नहीं करते करने का कारण ही यही है कि हम सिर्फ करता है कारक कोई और है तो यहां पर जितने भी लोग असेंबल हुए हैं ये एक कृपा है उन सभी पर या तो अपने अपने इष्ट की या फिर स्वयं देवी यमुना की एंड वी विल ट्राई अवर बेस्ट लाइक चंद्रकांत जी हैज सजेस्टेड वी विल टेक सम एक्शंस जो आध्यात्मिक से थोड़ा सा हट करके भी होते हैं वो भी लेना जरूरी होता है लेट आज ऑल गो बैक एंड ट्राई कि जैसा आर्यन ने भी सजेस्ट किया धर्मदास जी ने सजेस्ट किया कि वी हैव टू स्प्रेड द वर्ड वी हैव टू होल्ड द पीपल अकाउंटेबल वी विल हैव टू मेक श्योर दैट यमुना फाइंड इट्स प्लेस वी आर नॉट द वंस हु कैन स्टॉप द नालाज वो हमारे हाथ में नहीं है हम नाले बंद नहीं कर सकते हम कुछ नहीं कर सकते बट हम सभी को एक तरीके से आत्मनिर्भर बनना पड़ेगा यमुना को आत्मनिर्भर बनाने के लिए इवन इफ देर इज नो यमुना नमामी गंगे I think with small efforts, अगर हम पूछते हैं किसी को देवी को या देवता को वो स्वयं जीवित हो जाते हैं और अगर उनको पूजा नहीं जाता तो वो मरण की अवस्था में चले जाते हैं हमारे मथुरा में उनको पूजा जाता है लेकिन उनका रूप ही नहीं है मथुरा में तो पूजने का फायदा क्या आपने जो वैष्णवों की बात की धर्मदास जी ने जो पांच करोड़ वैष्णव है संप्रदाय ये वही वैष्णव है जिनके पास सात सबसे ज्यादा पूरे देश की संपत्ति है सबसे ज्यादा मैं कहूंगा सिक्सटी परसेंट ऑफ द कंट्री इज वेल्थ लाइज विद दीज फाइव करोड़ वैष्णव एंड टुडे दी आर द सेम वैष्णव हु आर कंट्रोलिंग द पावर ऑफ दिस कंट्री पॉलिटिकली मंजुला जी वर्क फॉर द मिनिस्ट्री ऑफ होम अफेयर्स द वेरी होम मिनिस्टर इज अ ग्रेट यमुना भक्त एंड His wife keeps going to Mathura. उनके तो हमारे चतुर्वेदी समाज में उनके एक पंडे भी हैं जो अपने कार्ड पे लिखते हैं होम मिनिस्टर का पंडा सो so, सो so, सिर्फ मात्र कार्ड पे लिखवाने से कुछ नहीं होता आप उनको जब उनके इष्ट की या दर्शन कराते हो तो वो इष्ट की क्या हालत है वो भी जरा बताइए तो आई थिंक द की टेक अवे फ्रॉम दिस एंटायर मीट इज दैट अ पर्सन लाइक मी shouldn't leave my business and my world and do a kalash yatra nange pair 620 kilometers every year mere saal ke ek ek mahina aise kam hote jayenge aur main pedal chalunga aur yamuna waisi ki waisi rahegi to ye ek kalash yatra to sirf ek jagrukta ka abhiyan tha zameeni haqeeqat janne ke liye agar yahan se koi kar sakta hai to humko ye prayas karna chahiye ki jis tarah se kaavad hote hain ganga ji ke उसी तरह से यमुना जी का एक कांवड़ यात्रा होनी चाहिए जो दिल्ली के थ्रू निकल के जानी चाहिए तो जब इतने हजारों सैकड़ों वैष्णव निकलेंगे देखो वो शैबाइट से आते हैं जो वहां से जाते हैं गंगा जल लेकर के हरिद्वार से और हरिद्वार क्या है हरि का द्वार है हरि कौन है हरि विष्णु है वहां से उसी द्वार से आप उत्तर की तरफ जाते हो तो उत्तर आपको केवल केदारनाथ नहीं लेकर के जाता वो आपको गंगोत्री भी लेके जाता है यमुनोत्री भी लेके जाता है बद्रीनाथ भी लेके जाता है और गंगा और यमुना में मात्र मात्र कुछ किलोमीटर का अंतर है जब वो बहती है ऊपर से जिस तरह से सरस्वती का भी था तो कुछ गंगनानी करके एक कुछ स्थान भी है उत्तरकाशी जिले में जहां पे गंगा स्वयं आती है यमुना के किनारे और आज भी वो जगह है आप जाकर के अपनी आंखों से देख सकते हैं कि यमुना कम्स टू गंगा और जब पानी भरता है वहां पर अगर वहां पर फ्लड होता है तो अगर मडी वाटर है क्लियर वाटर है किस तरह का पानी है 
आप गंगोत्री या गंगा में जाकर के वो पानी देख सकते हैं और यमुना के पास गंगनानी में आकर के उसी पानी को उठा करके अगर आप कंपेयर करोगे तो सेम होगा अगर वहां पर मडी होगा तो यहां पर भी मडी हो जाएगा एंड यमुना का अलग होगा लाखा मंडल के पास में एक जगह है जहां पर आज भी गंगा यमुना सरस्वती मिलती है जो पांडवों ने वहां पर शिव जी की एक लिंग का मतलब स्थापना की थी सो so, बहुत कुछ है और क्या रहेगा क्या नहीं रहेगा वो एक दूसरा सवाल है लेकिन जो फेयर फैक्टर है जो आर्यन ने कहा वो फेयर फैक्टर तो वैसे भी लोगों को होना चाहिए और जगना चाहिए क्योंकि द पीप द बिकॉज द डेटी दैट वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट वो स्वयं मनु यमा यीमा की जुड़वा बहन है जहां से हमारी सबकी उत्पत्ति हुई है तो वो एक तरीके से हमारी बुआ है तो सिर्फ कृष्ण की अष्ट भार्याओं में से एक नहीं उसकी चतुर्पटना नहीं सिर्फ सूर्य की पुत्री नहीं वी आर आंसरेबल क्योंकि जब हम यहां से जाएंगे दूसरे लोक में तो कहते हैं यम यातना धर्मदास जी वो क्या होता है न जा तू यम यातना आपकी आवाज नहीं आ रही है आप म्यूट पर हैं आप म्यूट पर हैं धर्मदास जी आप वो लाइन सुनाइए अब आई हाँ वो लाइन सुनाइए यमुनाष्टक में से यम यातना के ऊपर नमोस्तु यमुने सदा तब चरित्र मध्य भूतम न जा तो यम यातना भवत ते पय पानत यमोपी भगनी सुतान कद मोहंत दुष्टान भी और प्रियो भवत सेवनाथ तब हरेर यथा गोपिका महाप्रु बल्लवाचार्य जी ने अपने इस यमुनाष्टक के छठवे श्लोक में कहा है कि हे श्री यमुना जी हम तो आपको नमन भी नहीं कर सकते हैं आपकी कृपा हो तो ही जीव आपको नमन कर सकता है क्योंकि आपका जो चरित्र है वो अति अद्भुत चरित्र है भगवान श्री कृष्ण को के भगवान श्री कृष्ण को हम कहते हैं अद्भुत चरित्र कर्मा लेकिन यमुना जी का चरित्र भगवान श्री कृष्ण से भी अति अद्भुत चरित्र है क्यों है उसको आप सुनिए जो वो यो है कि भगवान का जो महात्म है वो तो शास्त्रों में विदित है और जिसको महात्म पता है तो वो उसको नमस्कार भी करेगा यमुना जी का महात्म शास्त्रों में विदित नहीं है बहुत ही कम बहुत ही कम उपलब्ध होता है तो इसलिए जीव यमुना जी को नमन भी नहीं कर सकता है और उसका मूल कारण यही है कि जब तक हम महात्म ज्ञान को नहीं जानेंगे तब तक हमारा प्रेम हमारी भक्ति उस जीव में नहीं जुड़ सकती है जैसे जब हम किसी का बायोडाटा देखते हैं तो हमको लगता है नहीं ये आदमी अच्छा है तो जब तक हम यमुना जी के संपूर्ण महात्म को नहीं जानेंगे तब तक हमारा प्रेम यमुना में नहीं जुड़ सकता है और महात्म तो ऐसा है कि एक पैपान करने के मात्र से ही जो है यम की यातनाओं से जीव को मुक्ति मिल जाती है और इस जीव को ये शरीर जो है वो एक दिन छोड़ना है और सबको यमपुरी में जाना है सबको यमपुरी में जाना है भैया एक ऐसी जो है पद्म पुराण में कथा आती है उसका मैं आपको लिख करके आपको सेंड करूंगा जरूर एक हाँ एक बहुत बड़ा पापी था और वो जब वो स्वर्ग में गए दो भाई थे मरे दो भाई थे, साथ में और जब मरे दोनों स्वर्ग में गए दोनों पापी थे तो धर्मराज बोला कि एक को स्वर्ग में डाल दो और एक को नर्क में डाल दो तो जो स्वर्ग में गया वो वो ज्यादा पापी था तो उसने यमदूत से पूछा तो भाई मेरे बहुत पाप किए हैं मुझे ये स्वर्ग का सुख क्यों मिल रहा है तो तुमने माघ मास में एक बार संतों के साथ में यमुना में स्नान किया था उसका ये फल आपको प्राप्त हुआ है और ये पद पुराण में कथा आती है जी सो so, इसका मतलब ये था कि ये सब कहने का और जो बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट पार्ट इनने कहा है कि गंगा का स्नान यमुना का पान यमुना का पान करो यमुना तुम यम यात्रा से बच सकते हो उससे भी जरूरी क्या है कि श्री वल्लभाचार्य भी स्वयं ये कहते हैं कि मैं आपको नमन नहीं कर सकता मेरी औकात क्या है क्यों क्योंकि आप उसी को नमन कर सकते हो जिसको आप देख सकते हो पहचान सकते हो जब अर्जुन को श्री कृष्ण समझ में नहीं आए उन्होंने उसको दिव्य दृष्टि दी यस yes, yes, कि चल तू देख मुझे तू समझ में क्या हूं तेरे सारे क्वेश्चन आंसर हो जाएंगे नहीं तो मैं एक्सप्लेन करते करते थक जाऊंगा बिकॉज यूर ह्यूमन तुम्हारी बुद्धि है तुम्हारे सवाल कभी खत्म नहीं होंगे 
सवाल खत्म नहीं होंगे तुम पूछते जाओगे तर्क पे को तर्क तुम करते जाओगे चल ये देख जो तेरे को समझ में ही नहीं आएगा तो जब उसको जब वो ऐसे कहते हैं कि मेसमराइज हो गया कि है क्या जैसे रावण के साथ में हुआ था जब उसने शिव जी के पहली बार दर्शन किए थे और शिव जी ने कहा था कि बता तुझे क्या चाहिए कहते हैं मैं तो सिर्फ देखता ही रहूंगा मैं कुछ मांग ही नहीं सकता मुंह ही नहीं खुलेगा मेरा उसी प्रकार से यमुना जी एस पर दिस इज बियॉन्ड एक्सप्लेनेशन यू कैन एक्सप्लेन कृष्णा यू कैन एक्सप्लेन शिवा एवरी थिंग कैन बी एक्सप्लेन शी इज बियॉन्ड दैट सो जब वो कृपा वो देती है तब आप उसको समझने का प्रयास करते हो Yes. और जब आप उसको समझने का प्रयास करते हो तब आपको उसके बारे में और जानने को मिलता है जैसे कहते हैं काल और फिर कहते हैं महाकाल जैसे कहते हैं शक्ति और फिर कहते हैं पराशक्ति तो काल में सब समा जाता है तो फिर महाकाल क्या है शक्ति में सब आ जाती है तो फिर ये पराशक्ति क्या है जिसने ब्रह्मा विष्णु महेश को भी जन्मा है वो पराशक्ति वो क्या है और कालों का भी जो काल है वो महाकाल वो क्या है उसी प्रकार से जब आप यमुना को स्टडी करने के लिए जाएंगे तब ये समझ में आएगा कि भाई हम कहां से आए और हम कौन है क्यों है और ये मैडम कौन है ये क्या है ये क्या चीज है जिनके बारे में तो स्वयं कोई भी नहीं बोलता इन्होंने जो छंद गाया था उसका यमुनाष्टक का उसमें क्या कहा था कि वो कृष्ण रूपा स्वयं आपने वो जो बोला था जो उसकी जो लास्ट लाइन थी कि कृष्णो मिलावे कृष्णा रूप ये तिहारो है तिहारो है कि जब वो कृष्ण से मिलाती है गोपियों को राधा से सबको जब शिवजी भी जाते हैं कहते हैं कि यार एक दिन मैं भी रासलीला देख लू तो वो जब जाते हैं तो शिव को एंट्री नहीं मिलती तो स्वयं हरी कहते हैं कि आप जाइए आप यमुना जी से परमिशन लेकर के आइए कि मेरे यहाँ पर एंट्री वो ही देती हैं तो वो गए यमुना जी के पास में इसका पूरा बाकायदा इसकी स्टोरी है यमुना जी बोलती हैं कि आपको औरत बन के जाना पड़ेगा तब आप अलाउड हो तो भैया मैं यही भैया मैं यही चाहता हूँ कि पिछले 21 साल से मैं यमुना का प्रचार करता हूँ वैष्णव संप्रदाय में मेरा जो ऑडियंस है वो है वैष्णव संप्रदाय बल्लभ पुल और वहां आपको ज्यादा फॉलोअर यमुना जी के मिलेंगे और जो हमारे होम मिनिस्टर साहब हैं वो भी तो बेस्ट भी है संजो और वो जो है जब बड़ौदा द्वारकेश लाल जी के पास आते हैं तो वो ऐसे सिर झुकाते हैं तो मेरा एक यहाँ पर एक विनम्र सजेशन है कि जितने भी गोस्वामी बालक इस पृथ्वी पर पर विराजमान हैं द्वारकेश लाल जी की अध्यक्षता में हम सभी बल्लभ पुल के बालकों को बुलाए और इस पर एक चर्चा करें एक 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 गोसाई बालक हजार हजार जो है अपने शिष्यों को मतरा लेकर के आ सकता है एक विशाल आयोजन करें और यमुना जी की ताकत को हम देश को बताएं और सरकार को बताएं करोड़ों लोग आ सकते हैं मतरा यदि अरेंजमेंट हो जाए तो पहले यमुना जी से परमिशन लेते हैं वो क्या जी 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 लेकिन पंडित जी बात तो ये है की सबसे ज्यादा पॉल्यूशन इंद्रप्रस्थ में है तो अगर आए तो पहले इंद्रप्रस्थ को साफ करें तो फिर आस्ते आस्ते आपको आप नहीं दिल्ली में ही होना चाहिए मैं, मैं, मेरा मानना मैं, है दिल्ली में ही होना चाहिए दिल्ली में होगा तभी उसका एक कहते हैं दिल्ली में ही हो पूरे देश में आपसे मैं 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 आपका ध्यान एक बात पर और म्यूट हो गए आप अरे आप म्यूट हो गए हेलो आ रही आवाज हाँ बोलो जब दो, दो में यमुना आंदोलन हुआ था और हमारे ब्रिज के संत श्री रमेश बाबा और लोगों ने जो है ये आंदोलन किया था तो मैंने उनसे रिक्वेस्ट किया था कि ये आंदोलन मत करो दिल्ली के रामलीला मैदान में ये सारा पैसा खर्च करो और जितने भी गोस्वामी बालक हैं सबको वहां पर बुलाओ और एक एक वैष्णव पंच अपने शिष्यों को पांच पांच सौ ढाई सौ हजार शिष्यों को पूरी वैष्णव समाज को दिल्ली के रामलीला मैदान में बुलाओ वहाँ यमुना मंथन करो और उसको उसका लाइव टेलीकास्ट करो लेकिन मेरी बात किसी ने नहीं मानी जो है तो मैं चाहता हूँ दिल्ली में इसलिए नहीं मानी क्योंकि वो हमारे माध्यम से होना था ना उस समय पर <laughs> आपकी मान लेते तो अभी आप ये सुझाव नहीं दे रहे होते उनकी यात्रा आ रही थी दिल्ली उसको रोक दिया गया था बॉर्डर पे आना नहीं दिया था उनको अंदर हाँ जी हाँ जी हाँ जी वही 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 अफसोस नहीं नहीं अभी मेरे पास मेरे पास राइटिंग में भी है मैंने इनको राइटिंग में प्रपोजल दिया रमेश बाबा को और पंकज गोस्वामी को 
उनका साइन की कॉपी भी भाई भैया मेरे पास में है जो कोई बात नहीं कोई बात नहीं जो जो बीत गई सो बीत गई बात गई अब आगे की सोच अभी क्रिसोल्स मीडिया प्रोजेक्ट आत्मनिर्भर और द्रौपदी दीम ट्रस्ट क्या हो सब मिलकर के और इस ग्रुप में जितने भी लोग हैं हम सब मिलकर के अपना अपना काज करेंगे कोशिश करेंगे बोल जमुना मैया की जय जय हो जय हो जय हो बहुत बहुत धन्यवाद थैंक यू वेरी मच इट वाज अ वेरी एनरिचिंग सेशन एंड इट हैज गिवन अ लॉट ऑफ आइडियाज एंड इनपुट्स फॉर टेकिंग फॉरवर्ड अ मिशन ऑन यमुनाज रिजेविनेशन एंड आल्सो प्रॉपर रिस्पेक्ट टू हर सेक्रेडनेस एज वेल एज हर रिवर फ्रंट्स नॉट ओनली इन डेली बट अक्रॉस Uh, the length and breadth of her journey that is from yamnotri to uh, to actually i would say sangam you know so let us work towards a common mission with a focused uh, attention so that we are able to succeed in our small mission and as you said that we can only do when yamna blesses us and i think the fact that we are talking about ma yamna today is because yamna has blessed us True. otherwise we wouldn't be discussing yamuna today true so thank you so so very much for this uh, enriching session and lot of inputs from everybody uh, uh, thank you let's uh, pray to my yamuna that uh, she keeps blessing our efforts so that we are able to achieve our objectives thank you very much bahut jai shri yamuna jai shri yamuna jai yamuna maiya ki jai ho ranjit maiya ki jai ho ठीक है